10 o'clock in the morning, helicopters come to pick us up. Combat assaulted us into the area near the base of Nuyan Hill. Well, it was a hot LZ, which means that the minute that we got there, we were fired upon, which also means when you come into a hot LZ that those helicopters are not going to land and have you jump off. They're going to tell you to jump off from a pretty high up height. And I'm estimating that it was between 10 and 8 feet. So we jump out and we're being shot at, of course. They ordered the squad to bring the crew in and that will bring in helicopters up here. And so they started coming in and I could see at quite a distance behind them, there was a North Vietnamese unit online coming at them, trying to pick them off. Well, I also noticed there was one guy lagging behind. I would later learn that his name is, is Bill Arnold. And he's lagging behind and he's actually even using his M16 for a crutch. I realized this guy's still out there 75 yards and he falls down. I mean, he goes down. I jumped up, I weaved and sprinted through the fire and slid in next to him like I was sliding into second base. And I said, are you hit anywhere? No, he said, I'm not hit anywhere. He said, but I hurt my knee jumping on the helicopter. We've been out there most of the afternoon in that heat and that my, my knee is just swollen and I can't hardly even walk on it. And I said, well, you hang on to your M16 because you're going up on my shoulders. So I threw him up fireman style and weaved his, my way into the, through the crossfire. And they're doing a good job of missing us at this end, but they're trying to hit us. The NVA and that are trying to hit us from the, the back end. And I got him in and I dusted him off. And um, he, uh, he never saw the battle, so it, his, his knee being injured jumping out of the helicopter became a blessing in disguise for him, although he didn't realize it at the time.